Now I'm going to press some more of my Kings of Crease. Now you get sit back, relax, while I sort this positive energy and positive content onto y'all. But before we get into any of that, let's take a moment and be grateful. I want you to, sit, to understand this and realize that you didn't have to be alive today. Some people, some people yesterday, they didn't get to live to see another another Friday. They didn't even know. They didn't even know yesterday was going to be their last Thursday. Be grateful that you're alive. Even you, just be grateful. My bad. Be grateful that you're alive. Because guess what? Even if you don't know what your purpose is, you still have a purpose. Even if you don't know what it is, I believe in you. You're on this video for a reason. You're already destined for greatness. You feel me? Now you can, as you can tell by the vibe, it's dark outside. But hey, I'm getting y'all this video. You feel me? And also, I want you. To, I want you to think about this. Some people woke up under a park bench this morning. Some people woke up on a park on um, a bench that they use for a bus stop, bro. Be grateful that you even have a bed. Be grateful that be grateful that you even have a roof over your head. You feel me? People drive past me, they probably think I'm on, on drugs or something. I don't care. You feel me? Just be grateful that you have a bed, that you have a good atmosphere, you have positive people around you. Be grateful that you're alive. Please, let's be comment one thing you're grateful for right now. Thank you. Alright. Now, Tyler's video is going to be called Play my bad. Tyler's video is gonna be called My Nine Month Spiritual Dream. But before I even get to the video, take this. Boom, boom, boom. Come out. Boom. Take that positive energy. Left side. Mmm. Right side. Mmm. You feel me? Now, without further ado, let's get into this positive video. Enough talk, enough say. You feel me? Now, thanks to Spiritual Soul. I'm so grateful for that man. Thanks to Spiritual Soul. I'm on this path. Hang on, let me show this face. All right. Thanks to spiritual soul, I'm on this path. It has not been easy at all. In the beginning, I was struggling with no fat, no fat, the semen tissue. Because y'all didn't know, I had a really bad porn addiction, bro. That shit was killing me, physically, mentally, and soul, and spiritually, my soul, bro. That shit was not good. I advise y'all. I'm not trying to face. The bugs are going crazy right now. I advise y'all go watch my video on exposing the porn industry, bro. I advise you to go watch that video because that video changed your life. I'm telling you, it's all the knowledge I got. Now, as I was struggling with that, really bad, but I'm glad I didn't give up because there's so many times I want to give up on myself. So many times I want to give up on myself during the process, bro, and be like, damn, bro, like, man, fuck this spiritual shit, man. Like, I, like I'm done. It's too hard. I don't want to do it. But I saw how happy and positive spiritual soul was, and I saw him as a toxic person transformed to that. I'm like, Jaden, if he can do it, Who's saying you can't too? You feel me? I put my mind to it, and guess what, y'all? I'm here today. Y'all seeing me because I didn't give up on myself. And so there's no reason for y'all to give up on yourself too. You feel me? Wait, this, this is kind of giving me a little vibe. Looks like I'm bald right now. No hair. <laughs> All right. Um, Where am I? Oh, yeah. Also, I got more confidence from it as well. See your attention, bro? I got more confidence from it. My skin got a lot more, a lot more clear. As you can see, more facial hair, a lot more hair, bro. My y'all, my hair is up here right now. You can't see because it it's dark in the side, but my hair is up here right now. Make sure y'all be kind. You feel me? A lot more confidence. I lost all, no anxiety. As a woman, I feel comfortable, bro. I'm a king. You know what I'm saying? I don't even focus on women right now. I'm focused on my journey, bettering myself. But of course, my twin flame comes along. We're good, you know. Also, oh yeah. Next thing I did with my spiritual journey that really upped, upped my level and like I really get, started getting a passion for was working on myself by me starting to align my chakras. With my root chakra, I started getting rid of all my depression, anxiety, and fear. All negative energy was out the window. Mr. No, aka Mr. No Fear. j -Dub, I hope you're watching this. I love you, bro. Hope, you have a, hope you're having a good day. I already know you have a good day. You know what I'm saying? And I already know you had a restful, safe night. But let's get back to the bit at hand. You feel me? Now, also, I got my sacral chakra in line. I channel my sexual energy towards something better. My sexual energy that I was wasting left and right and right and left. On bullshit, bro, with porn and all that nastiness, bro, guess what? I channel that sexual energy to my videos, to my meditation, to my workouts, to bettering my mindset, to bettering myself as a whole. Because guess what? That energy is strong enough to create a whole nother human being. Imagine what it could do if you were to pull it towards something else. Imagine, I know it's not easy, I know it's not hard, but I have I'll help you with that, bro. I believe in you. If you came across this video, the universe has put you in alignment to see this video. 
Like, like, so we're saying, bro, your higher self or something within you sees my light and they want to change you and get you better. You feel me? Now, after my sacral chakra, I went and got my solar plexus chakra. And that got my confidence to a whole nother level, bro. Confidence, I remember I used to try to get confidence, bro. I remember I used to get confidence, like, I just have no confidence at all. And now I'm confident. I know I'm going to inspire millions. I already have inspired millions. I feel it in my soul. I've already, I've already worked in the future with, D, with D. Harman Studios. I've already worked in the future with Gary Vee. I'm manifesting that. You feel me? Now, after my solar plexus chakra, I went and I got my heart chakra aligned. I learned to love myself and love others. Because nowadays, in case you didn't notice, a lot of people try to find love in other people and not loving themselves first when it was in within them the whole time. And that's what I would try to do so many times. And I would feel so confused and lost. Like, why am I not loved? Why am I not feeling this feeling of love that everyone says is so great? Little did I know, it was in me the whole time. All those girls I was trying to get at, bro, I didn't even need your love. Who, said, who, said, who says they even, they even love themselves type of shit? You feel me? Not saying they're a bad person or anything, but who says they love themselves? The love was in me the whole time. My heart chakra, the green, you feel me? My heart chakra, green, but I'm not green. If you know what I mean. Now, also my third eye chakra. I, I, I'm, uh, my bad. I got a lot of information. Slow down. My third eye chakra, right? Everyone says, everyone says it's demonic, it's bad. It's really not. It's all about how you perceive it. If you go and you try to open your third eye chakra without going up, up and down from your root, your sacro, your solar, your heart, your throat. I, I skip throat. I'm going to go back to throat. In, in, in your crown... Even if you want to do your other, uh, like the still a gateway chakra, the all of them, if you just try to jump on your hop on your third eye, bro, and you are not physically ready, and your energy is not there to see the type of stuff that this world really is, you're, you're going to get depressed, suicidal, all that stuff. You know, like, that's if you're in a depressive state, try to open your third eye, or you're not in a good mental state, bro, and you and you go and you try to open your third eye chakra, it's going to be a bad, my bad, y'all can't see me right now, but it's the deal with me. It's going to be a bad experience for y'all and you're not going to like it whatsoever, you know? But, as for me, I stopped forcing it because I didn't feel like it was helping me at all. And I'm glad I trust my intuition. Always trust your intuition. And I'm glad I did because guess what? I stopped trying to force it open and it opened up naturally. And now I'm living in abundance. I'm living in joy. I'm living in happiness. Eight, eight, eight. There's a positive affirmation for you. An angel number, you know? Oh yeah, and I started seeing a lot of angel numbers on my journey, bro. I used to want to force this spiritual awakening stuff onto myself. I wanted it to happen so fast. But then the moment I stopped and it's one of the flow of things, let everything happen naturally, that's when, my, that's when I had my spiritual awakening. Sorry, little bug. That's when I had my spiritual awakening. That's when I went and started seeing these angel numbers that everyone's talking about, bro. It has to happen naturally. This spiritual awakening, you can't force it onto you. There's no right time to have it. There's no way you can automatically have it, like force it onto yourself, you know? When you know you're having a spiritual awakening, you will know you're having a spiritual awakening, you know? Also... Where was I? Oh yeah, in my crown chakra, in my, in my crown chakra, I have so much gratitude towards life. I'm so grateful to be alive. I'm, I have an attitude of gratitude, all that. And also your throat chakra. My throat chakra, I used to be a very shy person. Like bro, I could have never pictured myself on YouTube right now speaking to you, my fellow king or my fellow queen. I could never picture myself doing that because I was such a, a shy person. And I was afraid to speak my truth, but now I'm speaking my truth. You feel me? Take this positive energy. Boom, boom. Kamehameha. Boom. Mmm, left side, mmm, right side. You, you you like the finesse on that, like, mmm. You feel me? <laughs> you probably laugh at you know what I'm saying? Get your vibration up. Because laughing does help, help get your vibration really high. It does. Always laugh every day. A day. Hey, do you know what I say? A day without laughter is a day wasted. Now also, on this journey, I have, I have gained more gratitude towards life. Even the smaller things, bro. Just for having feet, just for having legs, just having eyes to see, to hear. I'm grateful to even have this journal to write. I'm grateful to have, know how to write. Grateful to see. Have, have good. I'm, there's a lot. So I can go on and on. I can make a whole video just giving gratitude. You know? And I've also gotten a positive mindset, which is a big factor. I learned, I also, I've also learned about the law of attraction. I learned about manifestation. All that type of stuff, you know? And I've also, I've also met a lot of new people on my spiritual. I was, also met a lot of new people, you know? I gained a spiritual family. A good group of really good people. And I've also. Shout out to y'all. Y'all know here. I love y'all so much. I love y'all. Take this positive energy. Boom, boom, boom. Left side, mmm. Right side, mmm. Shout out to Smart. You feel me? Now, also, I've also, also started a channel and I'm helping hundreds of people. That's great. That's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're watching this video right now and you're someone who's having a spiritual awakening and you and you personally came from Christianity or something like that, and you always people say it's new age, it's demonic, it's bad, it came from 
looser fiction, all, all, all that type of stuff, right? They say that they use meditation in there for bad demonic things, but guess what? Meditation can be used for both good and for both bad. So you can't just say meditation is just demonic. That's like saying, oh, a car is bad when it can be used for good to drive you somewhere and drive you safely home, or it can use, use, be used for bad to go and run someone over and kill them. You see what I'm saying, bro? It's all about what you use stuff for. And also, a little bit of knowledge for, spirit, for stuff while you're doing it on your spiritual journey. Do not call upon shit you have no business calling upon. Don't call upon no spirit guides, no, no fucking um, spirit guides, ancestors, angels. Don't call upon that unless they've already shown themselves to you. Please, trust me on this because there are demonic beings that can disguise themselves as light energy and, and latch onto you. And I don't want that to happen to y'all. So, number one rule. Don't call upon shit you got no business calling upon, bro. And that's just facts. This video, this video is about to end. This is a pretty good video. I got everything I wanted to say. I already know y'all had a beautiful rest of your weekend. I already know y'all had a beautiful night. I love you so much. You're destined for greatness. You are worthy. You are special. You are amazing. I saw 11-11. My angel's with me. Do you feel me? I love y'all so much, bro. And also, the people who always do those testimonies... Bro, they always, they always mess up and call up on stuff. Don't do that. Just love yourself. Treat people how you want to be treated. Have a beautiful rest of your night.